Throughout history, the Ark of the Covenant has been one of the most sacred artifacts in the Judeo-Christian tradition. But just what exactly is the Ark? Well, the Ark of the Covenant is fascinating because it's the most important ritual object uh, the Judaism has ever had. The Ark is first introduced scripturally in the book of Exodus, where God gives Moses instructions to build an Ark for carrying the Ten Commandments. It has very detailed instructions. It should be two and a half cubits long, by like one and a half cubits tall, and one and a half cubits wide, and it's plated with gold inside and out. The Ark of the Covenant, for a time, was the center of the Israelite religion. It represented the presence of the Hebrew God, Yahweh, on earth. Meaning, if there was a question that needed to be answered, the ark was the place that you would go and petition God. If you went into battle, the ark would be taken, marched into battle. As long as the presence of God represented by the ark was with Israel, they couldn't be conquered. The Ark of the Covenant was God in the midst of the Israelites. It was an extremely powerful thing. When the Israelites were wandering through the desert for 40 years, they not only carried the Ark with them, the Ark kind of led the way. It was their ancient navigational device, the Israelites' ancient GPS that showed them where to go. And the legend says it would zoom up into the sky move three days ahead, and then the people would, would follow along behind it. What's interesting is that there's this great debate. Was the Ark of the Covenant real or was it just made up? I actually think it was very real. And the reason I think it's real is that it's such a central part of the Israelite religion. Did the Ark of the Covenant actually exist? Perhaps the answer can be found by examining an archaeological discovery that was made in the heart of the Holy Land. Central Israel, 15 miles west of Jerusalem. Here on a small, rocky mound lie the ruins of an ancient Hebrew city known as Bet Shemesh. According to archaeologists, Bet Shemesh has a profound connection to the Ark of the Covenant. Beit Shemesh has a long history of being a religious center. According to uh, the story that we have in the Bible, when the Ark of the Covenant was taken to Beit Shemesh, the Israelites take the Ark and they put it on a stone table. The understanding was that it was venerated by all Israelites. We have this one object, the Ark of the Covenant, that represents God on earth. Could the Ark of the Covenant have actually been kept at Bet Shemesh? Well, recently, archaeologists have uncovered evidence which suggests that the biblical story is, in fact, true. In 2019, a team led by archaeologists from Tel Aviv University made a startling discovery. They found a room in which it seems to have evidence of where the Ark of the Covenant was kept when it was brought here at Bet Shemesh. There's a big flat slab of stone that is exactly the same dimensions, proportions, as the Ark of the Covenant. This slab of stone is not some column that fell on its side. It was deliberately placed here and its dimensions, its dimensions fit what the book of Exodus tells us were the dimensions of the Ark of the Covenant. It says it was a cubit and a half on two cubits and a half. A cubit is the size of a human arm. Watch, a cubit and a half on two cubits and a half. Just a, a bit bigger maybe by 10, 20%. So the Ark would be placed on it in the most possible stable way. And everything dates to the time frame of when the Ark was placed at Bet Shemesh. 
everything falls into place. Not only did this discovery indicate that the Ark was kept here, it's much more. It actually indicates the Ark existed. This discovery is possibly the most significant find ever made in the context of the quest of the Ark of the Covenant.